welcome to another episode of Warriors Off-Road. Well, today we're going to get into our performance clutch kit. What I'm going to show you is how to remove your stock kit, install this kit, and how fast it can actually be to do. And how, even from the get-go, just from the onset, there's not a lot of adjustment to do. Although your clutch has a lot of adjustment in it, so you can make it tighter or looser, uh, depending on your, your needs, whether you're going to be a racer or just a weekend warrior. So we're going to go over a few things here. We have the uh, Melosi clutch. Now this is adjustable here. I'm going to show you a little bit about this. Why we, why we like this one. Much better material here. No asbestos whatsoever. Of course, more bite when it goes onto the clutch bell. Also, this system right here is called the Delta clutch. Now the great thing about the Delta clutch is that you can loosen this up right here and you can change where the spring setting uh, goes into these little ridges right here so you can make the spring looser or tighter so it'll engage uh, how fast it bites, whether it's going to be at a low RPM or high RPM. And so to do that, you basically take these three circlips off. Do not lose them. Take this little ring off here, pop this off, and then you'll be able to loosen this, and you can go back. See the little ridges there? Yeah. So you can go forward or back about nine steps total. And then put this all back together. This is a great system setup, uh, and uh, we had this made exclusively for the Hisense. So we're going to set this aside for now. Another great thing we have going on here is our variator kit from Dr. Pulley. Now, what I love about our kits that we had designed just for this is that everything comes with the kit, which is really nice. You get the variator with uh, the better ramps on here, so it makes uh, transition of the weight so much nicer. Uh, it's got a really nice rake here on the sheave. It comes with faceplate guides. I'll explain these in a little bit. And it comes with two different types of, of weights. Now they're called rollers, which look just like it is. It's a roller. Then we have what we call a slider weight. A little bit different shape. These actually slide in and out of the ramp. And there's more information on the cover to let you know, decide which one you want. Um, but that's up to you. Both of these are included here. Um, I personally prefer the slider weights, um, but there's a few diehard guys that love the rollers, and that's not a problem. So these come with 16 grain weights in here. You can obviously uh, order any weights you want, uh, whatever size. The stock went to 21 grams. Uh, these are 16 grams. I find between 18 to 16 is great. A lot of acceleration off the bottom end to get going. But they're both included in there, so you can pick out which ones you want. So, without further ado, what do you say we put this thing, uh, make it a little faster? Alright, so here we have a typical setup. This will be the same whether it's going to be a uh, Strike or a Sector 250. This is your primary clutch, also known as the Variator. And this is the secondary, which actually houses the actual clutch. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take these off here. So you're going to need a 19 millimeter. Okay. And I have my handy dandy wrench here. Now, you could put a spline tooth on here to hold it still and use a wrench to get it off, but I find out that uh, Big Bertha here does a great job. So you just zip these off. Now when you take this one off, remember this one has a bevel. And the reason for that is that when the splines on this face plate here push down. I'm going to take it off so you can see there's splines right here. See that? And there's splines on the shaft. Now when you put this back together you want to make sure you push it all the way down until you feel those splines engage. Once they engage you're going to take that beveled cut, face it in, take your nut and hand tighten it down so you know everything's down before you torque it down. I'll explain more when we get it back together here. So for right now, let's take that off. We'll set it off to the side. Take the stock variator. I'm going to set it right there for now. I'm going to take the secondary. Now these, I've already loosened them earlier just to make the ease of making your video. We're going to take this nut and washer and set that aside. All right. So first thing we did, we took the variator off. Now we're at a point where we can take this belt off. Now, right now, you could probably squeeze this off and get it off without a problem. But I'm going to show you a little trick here with these bolts on how to get it back on later. Now you'll notice I also have the, uh, the Gates G-Force belt on here. This thing is Kevlar. This thing bites. It handles the heat and it lasts a very long time. So I, I highly recommend these and I sell these. So we're going to put that back on there. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to take the secondary, we're going to slide it off, and we're going to set it right here. Now this is the clutch bell. There's a little washer that you may or may not notice that fits right in between here. Goes right like that. Okay. So when you use this clutch kit, we have a different washer to put in there, but just put that off to the side for now. All right. So here is what we call the clutch bell. Just slides off. Uh, we were going to have some custom made for us, but uh, we sent them in for R&D purposes, and it turns out these clutch bells are actually pretty good. So a lot of the aftermarket race guys that we got all our clutches from decided that it wasn't it wasn't going to get much better. These are actually pretty good bells. Now the new clutches are 145 millimeter. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, 145. The older ones, like in 2015, were one 135 millimeter. They were a little bit smaller, so they brought them out, make it bigger, make it a little bit better. So if you order a new clutch, uh, even a stock one, so they're going to come 145, but they're going to come with this bell. Now the 145 is the interior dimensions, if you were going to measure it on the inside of the bell. 144.92, so 145. So you want to also make sure you're getting your clutch at a 145 too. So first thing I do is just make sure nothing's wrong. These three little bolts back here, sometimes they come loose. So I like to take them off. I'll hit them with a one drop of blue Loctite and get it back on to make sure they don't come loose. It's a pain to get in here. Same thing with these three nuts. Now I've replaced them with stainless steel nuts, but I put one drop of blue Loctite in all of them. Okay? So I'm going to take everything off, check it, inspect it, make sure there's no debris, dust, dirt, whatever. Everything looks pretty good here. I'm going to look at all my splines. So now is the time. Start with step one. Take the stock variator, the faceplate, just the back part of it. It's got great ventilation here because it's a sealed system. So we want to inspect it for grooves. Although you can see a groove, that's just from the belt mark on there. There's, I can't feel anything. If I really got worried about it, I would take some 3M Scotch-Brite and clean this up real good. It's actually in real good shape. So we're going to put that back on. That fits on the splines just like that. Next, we're going to put the stock bell back on here, the clutch bell. Just like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start with the secondary clutch. So let's get a let's get a look on this one. Now this one has a big nut holding everything together. So you will need a big socket. Go figure. So here it is right here. And it's a 46 millimeter. So we're going to zip that on there. Now this is under tension. So so just don't let it zing off here. Just try to apply a little bit of down pressure so when you do it, it'll do that. Okay? This is a safety factor. Just be, be wary of it. Set this off to the side. Here's our stock clutch. Nothing wrong with it. It's not adjustable. It's got average pads on here. Uh, nothing exciting. They do wear down. Uh, but you can't order any pads like this. You have to actually order the the whole clutch just to get a clutch like this in there. So we're going to put this off to the side. Stock spring, really soft. Engagement problem. So we're going to replace that. While I have this off, I'm going to do a couple things. I'm going to check how well this slides up and down. Like this. Comes in and out. Easy way to do that is I'm going to rotate this centerpiece as I turn it because there's o-rings back there. I'm going to make sure that it's clean of debris and dust. I'm going to make sure it's all well greased in here. And if I need to, I'm going to pack more grease inside these little cups. And as a matter of fact, we're going to do that. Woohoo! All right. I just don't like the way that is, so Pack a little bit extra inside there. I like all my stuff working really well. I'll put a little on the on the face here. And check the O-rings. Make sure they're not tore up. There's one here on the top, and then there's one down here on the bottom. So there's two O-rings. Take my finger and just as I'm doing this, putting grease in here. I'm also feeling insides for any abnormalities. Everything feels pretty good. Alright, so again, when I put this back on, I'm going to spin it while I do that. 
so I don't tear those O-rings. feels really good. Okay. Now, I'm going to grab a rag here and I'm going to just wipe off any excess that I don't like. Put it back on. Clean this up real good. Look at that. That's how it should look. Okay. All right, let's set that off to the side. Now, what we want to do is we want to install our spring next. Now, we have two different options down here. So we got, usually you go by color. There's red and yellow. So stock one is what they rate. They rate it at like RPM. So this one's rated at about 1,000 RPM. That means the clutch starts to engage at about 1,000 RPM. The yellow ones are 1,500 RPM. So it gives you a little bit longer to rev up and get in the power band before the clutch engages. And the red ones are 2,000 RPM. Um, and again, it goes about 2,000 RPMs in a search of gauge. It's the resistance on the, on the springs. Uh, for the Weekend Warrior and Fun, you're going you're gonna to notice a big difference just by this spring alone. Uh, for the hardcore racers who, or fellows or ladies too who want a lot of power, um, my daughter drives mine. She has a blast with it and my son. Uh, the red one definitely gives you the maximum uh, grip and power on here. Uh, for this purpose, we're just going to put the red one on. Uh, but again, uh, yellows, um, I sell about the even number of reds and yellows. So don't feel like you're missing out if you want to order the yellow. It's a great addition just by itself. If you only bought the clutch spring and didn't buy the performance clutch, you're going to notice a huge difference on your machine. All right, so let's go ahead and set that on there. And don't need this, so we're going to set it off to the side. So now what we're going to do, we've handled the grease. I want to make sure my hands are real clean so I don't want to get grease on my clutch. Now this is going to be the fun part. So there's flat slides on both of here and they line up with the flat sides on this cover. So when you push this down it can only go on one way. If you try to do it this way it won't lock in until it pushes down. Now for this purpose you might need somebody to help you. I've done this enough that I, I can do this by myself but it, it helps too. What I do is I grab the sheaths with my fingers and I squeeze it down and I'll get it down to that point and I'll have somebody else just tighten the knot on here. But if I'm by myself I'll actually use my knee, put it down there I got a free hand. I want to get it started real nice and even, not cross threaded. And then, Big Bertha. Put that on there. She don't go nowhere. She's tight. All right. So we're ready to install this back on the, the output shaft down here. Or uh, the main shaft. I'm sorry, this is the main shaft. So, again, we're going to take that thin washer that came from the factory out of the clutch. And with your kit is going to come a 6 millimeter spacer on here. You can either put it on the shaft here, or you can drop it inside here. Six one doesn't have the other. It's going to do the same purpose. So we're going to take this, put it on the shaft. Rotate it. Boom. Now another thing we're going to do is that the stock, they come with a pretty thick washer. But because we got that spacer on the other side, we're going to change this out. And your kit is going to be supplied a thinner washer. That washer goes on here. I'm just going to tighten it by hand for now. Golden. Okay. Let's start on the primary or the variator. So we're, what we're going to do is we're going to take the shaft out because we get to reuse this. Now this shaft actually has splines on one side. Can you see that? There you go. So it can really only go on one way. So it's going to go on here until you see it locked with a, like that. So we know it's on the splines. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the stock clutch apart because we need only one part from the stock part, this faceplate. So there's three screws on this cover. I've already taken them out just to make it a little easier and quicker. So you take this off. This is uh, your faceplate, and this is your stock clutch. This and this are going to be put off to the side. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the stock faceplate and we're going to take out the, the faceplate guides. There's three of them in here. So just put them in there. This whole part right now will go off to the side. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take our new variator. Ooh, ah. And I am going to use, uh, just for this purpose, I'll use the roller weights. 
creates it faster for the video. So I'm just going to slide them in here. And they go in the ramps just like that. Okay? Pretty easy to see. Nothing exciting. If I were to use the sliding weights, so I would take these out. And again, these are all Dr. Pulley, Dr. Pulley products. They're high, high quality uh, weights and equipment here used by some of the fastest racers uh, in Europe, all over Europe. So there's a certain way these things go in here, which is great. And they, they even give you a little bit of instructions on the, on the cover. So if you look at that, so this would be the center towards the middle. And the sh lower shelf would be the outside. So the way we're going to put it is we're going to put this against the shelf, just like that. This is high part, just like the picture says, goes against the shelf, goes against the shelf. It's pretty simple. And you'll know if you have one upside down, if you look at it, one of these looks different. Ah, so let's get this all together. Okay? Just like that. Now we're going to take our faceplate and included our three brand new guides. Much better wear resistant and their size to fit inside of here. So just like the other one, we took it off. They have two sides that look kind of odd. There's kind of a U-shape and an arrow shape. The arrow shape goes up. The U-shape goes towards the bottom. And you'll notice it's got like a U-shape here and, a, and a, more of an arrow uh, imprint detent in here. So if I try to put them in this way, they actually, they won't work. Just like that, okay? And line them up, boom, okay? So now what we're going to do is we're ready for the belt. So I'm going to set these off to the side here. I'm going to take, oh, there's about seven bolts here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven that I took the cover off with. You're going to take these on the face of this secondary clutch. There's a couple threaded holes. We're going to put these in here. And what we're doing here is this is going to press and it's going to open up the sheave and allow the belt to write in there real easy like. So I try and do equal pressure. I do a couple turns on each one. And I don't have to go crazy on here, but I just want to open it up. So now I'm ready for the belt. Again, clean hands. I always want to put the writing on the belt facing me. Uh, this way would be backwards. So as we're looking at it, we want to face it. So I'm going to stretch it over here. Boom. Just like that. See? All right, it's nice. So now here comes that tricky part we talked about here. We want to line up these splines on this shaft. Okay? So I want to leave these bolts in here because I need this extra room here so I can get this on. So I'm going to slide on here, and I'm going to rotate it until I feel it bite. There it goes. I can see it. So again, I want to put, I'm holding down, I'm holding pressure on here because I don't want it to come off that shaft. So I put the bevel side towards here. I take my nut, get it hand tight, and that'll secure it in place. Now I can tighten it down. So I'm going to take the tool once more. So it doesn't matter which one they do first. She's tight. Now this one, is it free spins on the back. So if you spin this right now, the, the bell, which is uh, splined on here, is going to spin. So what I do is I tend to give it... for a good wax like that so I know it's on there. The inertia and the torque on here will get it tight. Now it's time to take these bolts out of here. Now the belt is going to keep that the splines separated for a little bit. Or keep the sheaves separated I should say. So and that's not a problem. What I do before I even get everything back to the cover on I'll rotate this a little bit, and the belt will tend to right up here and lock in. Now we're tight. 
And now I'm ready to put the factory cover back on. Make sure I'm putting that big rubber gasket in there. Keeps a lot of dirt and debris and some water out of here. I'll put the cover back on and I'm ready to go. Everything is included in the kit. You're going to have all these slider weights, roller weights. Uh, both of those sets, you're going to have all needed washers to replace them with. You're going to have the new variator set up. You're going to have uh, a spring, whether it be red or yellow. No change in price. Um, and the clutch, of course, for the clutch kit. Now, all these parts are available separately, too. So if you've already purchased a spring from us and the belt from us and you just want to buy the clutch or you just want to buy the variator, it's all available at our, on our online store a little bit differently. And that's what it is. This thing should be ready to fire up. Now, what you'll do is you'll go out. If you have a brand-new belt, take it easy for about the first hour. Let the belt settle in right in. Uh, that's, that's true with any CVT belt you want to put on. I don't care what brand of UTV you have or ATV. You want to settle it in for about an hour riding and then tear it up. But you'll notice instantly what a big difference in here. So that's what we have for you on the clutch side. I know you'll be happy with it. There's a little bit of difference on the newer models. They don't have the shaft with a nut. They have a bolt on here. We have a different washer for that one, but it'll, you just tell us which year you have and what kit you have, and we'll make sure you're supplied with everything you need to do this. You can see it didn't take me very long to do this. It's under 20 minutes. This is on the bench, but in the vehicle, uh, the only problems you have are just gaining access to this. So it might take you another hour or two to remove the fuel tank and get the cover and take the seat off and so forth to get in here to get this. Um, but that's about it. That's our clutch. If you have any questions, give us a call. 562-682-7859 or warriorsoffroad.com and we'll be more than happy to help you with any of your needs. I also wanted to take the time to uh, ask if there's viewers out there that they're looking for something that they wanted to put on or wanted me to, uh, to show them. If you're looking for a video for, I don't know, oil change, a wheel, how to change a wheel, do the sprocket, do the change, you know, ping me a, a message here at uh, warriorsoffroad at gmail.com and I'd be more than happy uh, to make a video. If there's, if, if there's something you need some assistance on, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to help you. So by all means, let me know... If, uh, what you'd like to see, and let's do some videos for you folks out there. I know you guys are going to be happy. Uh, if you want cylinder head information, if you want uh, transmission information, gear information, uh, stator, clutch, or anything on the vehicle itself, you know, that I'm here for you guys. So let me know what you guys want to see, and let's make some videos. You guys have a great day, and I hope to see you soon.